Welcome to the Misfits Halloween episode. February. Valentine's Day? I'm not doing a Valentine's Day episode! No way, man! That! Wait. What the? What's that? Did you hear that? Every time I say it, it makes that noise. Anyways, I don't care. I'm not doing a freaking Valentine's Day episode. Quit messaging me. I'm not doing it. Anyways, all right, well, I had a horror movie one special planned for uh, Halloween, so screw it. Oh, I can say screw, but I can't, but, but I can't say, okay, whatever. We're still going to do my serial killer horror movie special. And this is the Misfits Hall Valentine's Day horror movie serial killer list. What's going to happen is... Down here in the green, <laughs> yeah, you even think you can take the misfit? That ain't that ain't gonna happen. Here will be, yeah, it'll be someone to fight. Right here, we're gonna keep my distance from that person, monster, whatever. This, I would like to actually team up with uh, the killer in question. And this one, this one actually has a chance on killing the misfit. All right, Darby, you ready? All right, cool. Is that the only kind of bark you have? That's kind of that's kind of lame. All right, all right, sorry, jeez. Anyways, first up, we quit messaging me, Darby. First up, we have Billy Loomis. Uh, it's just a high school kid and that's obsessed with horror movies. Okay, great, yeah. No, Billy Loomis is not gonna be able to kill the best fit. It's not, it's not happening. It's just plain, plain, plain on not happening. Next, we have uh, Christine, well, it's a car. It's a haunted freaking car. I mean, the Misfit's fast, but he's not faster than a car. And Christine has a chance of mowing down the Misfit. I'll have to admit, I don't know what to do about that. All right, next, uh, John Kramer. I would team up with John Kramer. You know, we'd torture some people. We'd have some fun. I don't care about the life lessons he's going to teach. I Misfit just wants to get into the torturing and the, the clothesline and them, and then, you know... Anyways, next, Candyman. Misfit's keeping his distance from the Candyman. Misfit is not stupid. The Misfit's tough, but he ain't stupid. He's not going to say the name Candyman. There's no mirrors around here, right? No, okay. Okay, good. Good. Anyways, keeping the distance from the Candyman. All right, and uh, Audrey, too, from Little Shop of Horrors. This will be somewhat of a fight because Audrey is a big man any plant but the misfit gets a weak killer just squirt 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 and there we go down goes audrey too all right next we have carrie i would like to believe that i would have been a would not have been a jerk to carrie so maybe she wouldn't have killed me at prom but who who we can't miss when they going to no freaking prom they even got good music there so you know i guess Technically, I'd be keeping my distance because I wouldn't be going to no stupid prom. I'd only be going to a prom to powerbomb somebody through the freaking bleachers. I did that my junior prom, and then I got in a lot of trouble in the Misfit. I had to go, you know, do some community service, and then, you know, let down the road. And we're not getting into that right now, okay? Um, um, Patrick Bateman of American Psycho. Well, uh, no, no. <laughs> He's just some yuppie dude. I mean, yeah, he's crazy, but not crazy enough to go out to go against the misfit. That's just how it is. Can't help it. All right, and we got this guy from uh, Scream uh, before, I believe, and he's just a Billy Loomis wannabe. So no, kid, no, no. Um, and we got Chop Top. This is actually the misfit's favorite. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Two. Bill Mosley as Chop Top was. Brilliant, still great to this day. I would team up with him and you know, it would be groovy and we'd just go around Texas listening to some music and you know, cracking some skulls. That's because that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, I know what you did last summer's fisherman killer hook guy. No, I don't care. You can know whatever you want to know. You still ain't gonna take on the mess fit. If you knew what I did last summer, shh, don't tell anybody that's a 
secret. Okay. Okay. We good. Okay. Anyways, anyways. All right, and then we got <laughs> Baby Firefly. Mess with team up with Baby Firefly any day of the week, any day of the year, any minute, any second. He would team up with Baby Firefly. Uh, and then next we got uh, Freddy Krueger. Well, we gotta put him, and he has a chance because even though the Misfit is a badass, they, you know, maybe he's, Freddy's controls the dream world, and you know, Freddy's tough mother. Mm, I, I can't say that word because it beat me out apparently. Anyways, all right, we got Hannibal Lecter. And Hannibal Lecter is a smart cookie. I like Hannibal Lecter, and I'm actually gonna put him up there with the. I know. I like Hannibal Lecter. He has a chance, man. He's smooth. I mean, he might catch Misfit Oak. I doubt it, but I've, I've seen what Hannibal Lecter could do, and that man is not a man to mess with. All right. Next, we got we got um, Chucky. 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 Yeah, I just boot him across the room. I mean, he's a doll. Okay. Boot him across the room. Um, Captain Spaulding. Rest in peace, Sid Hag. Love you, brother. But yeah, I would team up with I team up with anybody in the Firefly family. I become part of the Firefly family. I miss Fit Firefly. That would be pretty cool. Alright, and uh, we got this crazy old dude from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm keeping my distance from him because I don't want to be a part of the famous Texas Chainsaw Chili. Just don't want to. I mean, it wins, it wins ribbons and everything, but still don't want to be a part of it. Alright, next, next, uh, Dr. Herbert West, the reanimator. You know, and this nerd, I'll just go kick his butt. I mean, he's gotta get some zombies out to me. I'll kick the zombies' butt. It's pretty simple. Alright, and uh, let's do a couple more, a couple more. Um, we're gonna go with Cujo. Cujo, he's your cutie. Uh, no, Cujo would kick my butt because I would never hit a dog no matter what. You hear that, Darby? Yeah, you're a good boy too. But no, Cujo, good boy too. No, Darby, you're a better boy. I know you got your skateboard. I know. All right. All right. Um, one more, one more, one more. Let's uh, pick a good one. And yes, this man has a major chance of taking on the Misfit. The only man I think that I that would go toe to toe with me one on one. Mono y mono. Psycho against psycho. Cracking each other's skull. The mama's boy of all mama's boy, but I love him. Jason, mother, you know what? Voorhees. Yeah, he, he, good chance of taking on the Misfit. Alright, you know what? This was fun. I enjoyed this. Misfits, I love the Valentine's Day special, apparently. Whatever. Alright, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you don't, gonna come break your skull. I've been telling you this.